Uh, well, a very good morning to you and our viewers at home. Uh, we are inside uh, the laboratory where these uh, you know, 3D shields uh, are being uh, printed and uh, are going to be offered, of course, uh, to health workers who are treating uh, COVID-19 uh, patients. And of course, um, we know that uh, there is a shortage uh, of facial masks uh, that uh, the health uh, community is facing as uh, the spread of uh, coronavirus increases, not only in South Africa, but globally. But let's talk to the guys that are actually behind this concept here. Thank you very much, sir. If you can just uh, introduce yourself and talk to us about uh, uh, this concept of uh, 3D frames, uh, visor facial masks, and uh, how, how did you come about to produce this? Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm Isaac Kanevalt. I'm the Digital Scholarship and Innovation Manager at the Department of Library Services here at the University, and I'm also responsible for running the Makerspace. Uh, in the lab, we got the call that there's a shortage of visors, as you mentioned, and uh, the thing about 3D printing is that you can actually react so quick to calls like that, and we realized that you can actually help out with this. So over the weekend, we actually came to do a few test prints at the University, uh, to look at the different types of frames and what frames can be used to help the health science, uh, the, the, the health sciences faculty at the university. So we took these frames, we loaded them on our 3D printers, and now we're actually producing. And we actually have quite a lot of people right. adding in this, but we actually need a lot more people to help. All right. Uh, so perhaps let's just move a bit closer so we, our viewers can see what we're talking about here. Uh, but uh, just talk to us about uh, the benefit uh, of uh, these. Uh, 3D, uh, you know, visa facial shields. Are they offering extra protection to health workers or are they a replacement to the facial masks that we are used to currently? Okay, so they're not a replacement for the masks in themselves, but they add an extra layer of protection. So again, there's a shortage of masks, but if I can show you what these masks look like, they actually prevent if people sneeze or cough into someone's face, these visors provide an extra layer of protection. So that's what we're trying to do for our health sciences and external parties as well. So I can show you one of these. All right, yeah, please demonstrate so we can uh, just see how uh, this also, perhaps the complete one uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a complete visor, all right? So what we're producing is we're producing this frame. So this will be supplied and the most people indicated that they have the other materials. So we're printing the bottom layer and the top layer like this and then also you just need a rubber band and what you do is you place this over your face like so and then you have this added layer of protection that prevents people from sneezing and coughing onto you. I think that all right, and you mentioned that uh, for health workers, of course, it's very critical because they need that extra layer of protection uh, to prevent health workers uh, being infected by, as they treat uh, COVID-19 uh, patients. Yes, we, we definitely need that. So um, in the hospital, as an example, it's, it's a, a space where people can walk around and, and bump into you, cough into you. So again, our health sciences, you know, our staff, our students, and you know, the rest of the faculty and people involved can do this, so they would need to have that. Uh, talk to us about the demand uh, in terms of uh, you know, this extra layer of protection. Uh, is there a great deal of demand for this, uh, and who, who's ordering this from you? Okay. At the moment, we actually have quite a large demand for this. Um, one of the, the private healthcare groups actually said they need about a thousand of these visor frames. And then from our own side, the health sciences faculty, uh, that also includes Steve Biko and Swane, indicate that they need about 10,000 of these visors to cope with a possible bigger outbreak. So the public sector is involved. You're talking about Steve Bigo and Swane. So we will, uh, this will also benefit the general public as well. Yes, definitely. So anybody that actually wants to, to get access to this and need assistance with this can definitely contact us and get in touch with us and we can do that for them. All right. So how long does it take uh, to produce these things as uh, we're showing these visuals? Uh, uh, how, how, much have you, uh, how, how much do you like produce per day? Okay. So 3D printing is actually quite a slow process. Uh, the benefit is we can act very quickly to a problem, but it's not a mass manufacturing technology. So one of these frames typically takes anything between an hour and hour 30 minutes. So in this space, uh, we've got three, uh, about six printers running at the moment, and we can produce about, let's say, anything between 23 to about 30 a day. Uh, and then uh, outside, we also have another business incubator assisting us with that. But if you can think to yourself, the demand is about 10,000, 
uh, and we can only produce about 30 a day. All right, so we actually need more people to, to pitch in with this as well. All right, and this is not a profitable venture for yourselves because, of course, uh, there is the call that businesses or any innovators shouldn't be profiting from the pan this pandemic. Yeah, so we're doing this uh, for the cause of it, so we're not charging anybody uh, for the visors or uh, printing it or assembly. Uh, we already received donations from people that want to help, but uh, none of the parties involved is doing this for any money at all. All right, well, that, thank you very much. Well, that's the manager of this innovation hub uh, talking to us about the work that they are doing to offer extra layer of protection to health workers as, as of course, they treat uh, the COVID-19 patients. And now this is not a replacement of uh, the standard mask that we used to, but, of course, it will offer that extra layer of uh, protection. We know, of course, that... Um, Doctors and health workers are in the front lines uh, uh, of this uh, virus as they're treating people and testing people. And we know that the government has announced uh, this, uh, you know, community uh, testing uh, drive. So certainly every added uh, bit of protection uh, is needed. And uh, the University of Pretoria is assisting and they're saying they're not only working uh, with the private sector, but also Steve Biko Hospital and uh, the city of Tswane as they print out uh, this 3D visor um, uh, that is uh, shields, official shields for health uh, workers and uh, with that, uh, Blaine, I expect to in studio. Yep.